We run a 2270 XD from Massey. For the small baler, we run the, the three string balers or uh, 1844S inline baler. We really put these tractors through a lot here in Arizona, especially in the summer when we're running. It's 115 plus degrees sometimes. In Arizona, it's a pretty long season typically. My dad's always kind of taught me and my, both my parents really just, hey, just keep chugging along and keep doing what you know how to do and um, don't stop. My name is Matthew Hancock with LM Hancock Farms. I farm here in Arizona. The majority of our, our crop in the last few years has been alfalfa. We do a significant amount of domestic product, which is either retail for feed stores and horses and do a good amount. And the first couple cuttings of the year will go to the dairies, the feedlots in Arizona, California. I started my farm down here in February of 2020, right before the world kind of imploded with COVID. And we made good alfalfa, but it was, it was tough to get it good dollar for it. The dairies were dumping milk and uh, the freight was tough to get moving anywhere because it wasn't it wasn't the travel allowed and um, with the restaurants and schools and everything shut down it it really hurt the alfalfa industry. And then in August we had a monsoon come through which if you're not familiar with Arizona it's a, a heavy rains and winds and in one night just wreaked havoc. It ripped a couple roofs off of barns, it flipped the center pivot over. I think the wind got over 80 mile an hour. Um, it was quite the mess. I had a few hundred acres of hay that was cut that it cleaned off the field better than if we would have raked and baled it. Uh, stripped the rest of the hay that was standing, stripped all the leaves off and was just left with some sticks. So it was almost a total loss of a cutting of almost 2,500 acres that just went away. Um, we just started plugging away and fixing what we could and here we are today. I went to school at Arizona State University and I got a degree in civil engineering. I tried to focus on uh, water and hydrology type classes when I could. When I graduated, I, I got a job at RDO Water and learning more um, on the installation side and with drip irrigation. A lot of people are realizing what they can do with drip and overcoming the, the issues that they had from whenever drip was beginning to be introduced. And a lot of people had big issues with it just because things weren't fully developed. And, so they're very afraid of the, the problems with it. I think people are starting to overlook that and figure out how to operate them and, and be simple with them. In 2020, when I was starting my business, I really needed to pay attention on the cost that I was gonna take on and um, being careful on that and making sure that I got the right equipment for the job, but also pay attention to the price. And for the rake tractors and then for the little balers, the 1844S's, these 4710's really worked well. We really put these tractors through a lot here in Arizona, especially in the summer when we're running. It's 115 plus degrees sometimes, and they really hold up to the abuse really well. They're fairly simple to operate, and it, it really makes it nice when you throw an, a driver on there, an operator on there. Uh, you don't often have a whole lot of time for training, so you need things simple to, to jump in and get working. We run a 2270 XD from Massey. They put out great consistent bales that we run, typically run 13 to 1400 pound bales especially in the custom work really dial it in and and make a good product for the customer for the small baler we run the the three string balers are uh, 1844s inline baler we had a lot of success with them they make a really nice consistent bale with retail the the look and the display is everything uh, a lot of it's with looking at the leaf looking at the leaf retention the squareness of the bale, the density of the bale. Using these 1844s, we're able to put out a consistent, good product for the customer. This year, we've been really working on changing up our program a little, depending on how much hay is in the field, to be able to rake it into bigger windrows. So when we feed these balers, they stay full, they stay more consistent, and it's really helped because these balers, the 2270XD and the 1844s, they really work well when they're full, and you can keep the consistent flakes, consistent weight, and a real nice bale coming out the back.